Okay, I've got to ask this question. Are there any of your own films that you would like to remake? Wow. Probably all of them. If I haven't seen them recently, but I'm, I'm sure. What happens to me every time I do run one, if I go to one of those seminars or something where they're, where they're running your old movies, if I ever sit through them, I, I sort of cringe. I, I honestly haven't looked at a movie of mine in a long time. The other night, Three Days of the Condor was on television here, and I, I was flipping through the channels, and I saw the start of it. I, had, I haven't seen that movie since it was made 20, 21 years ago. And I was twitching then. <laughs> it's hard to watch an old movie of yours, <laughs> I think. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I don't know, apologizing for them. Mm -hmm. I just, you, you change over the years and you would do things differently. So if, say, someone wanted to remake uh, Castle Keep, you would suggest that go to a different director? You wouldn't want to, like, take another crack uh, at that one? I don't think I would remake a movie of my own for, for any money in the world, but I somebody else wants to, to remake something, that, I suppose that's okay. I don't know. I, I imagine you feel pretty ambivalent about it. The fact that somebody wants to remake it is some form of flattery in itself, but it's also it must be a very odd feeling. I, mean, I talked a long time to Billy Wilder about this. Uh, and the, He always uses the movie from, on me the way we were. He says, wait, they're going to remake the way we were. It won't be too much longer. And then you'll see what it feels like. How do you think you will feel when that happens? <laughs> well, ambivalent about it, just as Billy feels. Now, I understand that uh, initially you were hesitant, or at least worried, about uh, doing this film mainly because you questioned whether the 50s plot could be translated into the 90s. Could you be a bit more specific about that? Well, I was initially terrified to do this. First, because it was a remake. Second, because it was a remake of Billy Wilder. Third, because it was a remake of Billy Wilder that didn't have Audrey Hepburn who, when we... But then it was a question of looking at the elements in the picture and saying, how do you make this... How do you tell this kind of a fairy tale in the 90s and remain true to the sort of romanticism of the 50s and also remain true to the sensibilities of the 90s. That always, the, all, the problems are always the thing that are most interesting. I mean, the, 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 the difficulties are the things that are the most joyous if you're able to solve them. And what finally made me interested in this were those very problems of doing, of, uh, the reason that I said I couldn't do it was finally what convinced me that it could be interesting to try to do it, to, to solve those problems, or to try to solve those problems. I don't think I've ever seen Harrison Ford this vulnerable, this emotionally vulnerable on screen before, particularly in the scene he's telling Sabrina this has all been a joke, it's all been fake, go away. Right. I'm not ashamed to say I was tearing up during that yeah, sequence. Yeah, me too. Me uh, too. <laughs> uh, was that something that you and Harrison talked about a great deal, the fact that this is you know, a much more emotionally vulnerable role for him? Well, we talked about it a lot, but I don't know that I said, I would never say to Harrison, this is more vulnerable than any role you played before. I don't ever want to make reference to another role that he's played when I'm talking to him as a director. I might say that over dinner with him if we're just talking. But as a director, my way of working with him is a, is a slightly different way. It, it, would, it would never be to compare it to anything. It would be to always go back to who the man is as a, as a guide for the how for this you know for the scene that the question in that scene is you can apologize for your own meanness by showing too much of your own pain and what you're really saying is see how much this is paining me to tell you that you're lousy the more painful i behave the more i'm sort of making myself a good guy but if I don't want to spare myself, I might go ahead and do it without showing you. What's interesting is that the choice was to do it with as little 
show of vulnerability as possible, but there's so much there anyway that it still bleeds through. And what makes you moved, if I may say so, is the fact that he's controlling it as much as he is. If he had let it out more, you would have been less moved, I think. Well, it's a very moving scene, a very terrific movie. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>